pen. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So he said BS crazy, okay. back crap crazy. And mm-hmm. why aren't they? Why aren't black holes running amok? It, wait, wait. So, so he's saying why? Why doesn't the whole thing just like? Why aren't they out of hand? Why aren't they just like consuming? Not only oh, I get that's why. Why aren't they consuming space, space time, time itself, itself okay. and just just eating away the entire universe? Okay. Just eat it away. Okay, because black holes are not any more voracious as black holes than they were as stars before they became black holes. Interesting. So it's really about mass. It's just the mass. It's just mass. So that's all. If you get now, so the thing. So here's how to think about it. Think of the sun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, before you. How close can you get to the sun? You get near the surface and you just vaporize, okay? All right. <laughs> yeah. So now the, sur- the sun's surface, its atmospheric surface, has a certain strength of gravity there. Okay. Right? Okay. Now let's cram the sun into a smaller volume. Same amount of mass. It's just denser. You can now get closer to the sun's center of mass. So its surface gravity is now higher. Cram it smaller. The surface gravity is even higher. Black holes are fun to think about and talk about because you can get close to them. If you get closer to Earth center of mass, you leave in half of Earth behind you, and it's not interesting. The good thing, the fun thing about black holes is you can get close to their center of mass, and their entire mass is between you and their center. That's why they become interesting. But puff it back up to the original size, there's no different. Nobody cares. 